Hello there, and welcome to my cozy corner, because this week I wanted to bring you an incredible story that has a huge impact on every agent's business. And this is the story of two agents and how they made totally different outcomes from the same opportunity. So the first agent, the first agent picks up a listing and they are excited and they want to do absolutely everything they can to sell this home. So they put money into advertising. They put money into everything they can think of to try to sell the home. They do a wonderful job of all these things. They've priced the house correctly. The market is okay for it to sell but the home will not sell. And this goes on for two years. Now, after about two years, the sellers decide that they're going to pull the home off the market and it's time to move on for right now. Now, a few months later, they decide they're going to go with a different agent. And it's, it's sad for that first agent, but the home didn't sell and things happen. Probably better for them to put their money into something that's worthwhile at that point. I would take it anyway. Now the second agent sees this and sees the same opportunity and looks at it and says, well, the house wasn't priced incorrectly. And it's great that they did all this advertising and all that sort of stuff. Um, but the one thing he noticed was that the property description that's used in the MLS and then syndicated out everywhere didn't do the home justice. So he decided that he was going to rewrite that description, relist the property, and see what he could do. Well, guess what? Within four days, he had eight offers and the home under contract. Now, that's the same opportunity made into two very different outcomes but this story teaches us two incredible things, and those things are this. First, the property description can make a difference for any home and is one of the most important things that you can use in your toolbox. However, the second thing is that storytelling sells. Storytelling is ingrained in all of us from the time that we're children onward. It's used as education, it's used to inspire us, and it's used to sell to us, and great copywriting sells. So this week we are covering how to write great property descriptions in depth. We're going over how to figure out who the perfect buyer is for that home, what they're interested in and what their pain points are, what sort of jargon and language they might speak, and then we take you through a formula that we use to tell great stories when writing property descriptions. You should absolutely check out the article. It goes into all of this in a ton of depth. And it is so critical that I really think you should read the content. Because after all, we're talking about writing great property descriptions. So as great of a job as I could do on this video, your best bet is not only going to be checking out the article, but actually downloading the cheat sheet that we're giving along with this. Totally for free. We're giving away a cheat sheet. It's going to help you brainstorm all that you need to write that property description. So check out the article. Make sure you go over there. It's absolutely worth it. Download the cheat sheet. Use it today. Get it into those property descriptions. If you have a new listing coming up, use it there. Otherwise, maybe change the property description you already have and see the sort of difference that it makes. So this has been Alex Camilio. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day.